doesn't really feel like I'm going to like a job because I'm kind of putting all my makeup on, choosing something that I feel good in. So I just feel like I'm going to go hang out with loads of my friends and make money from hanging out and being free. <laughs> First thing that I'd normally pack in my bag is my outfit. I tend to wear a bikini um, because they're the most comfiest things for me to wear. So that's the first thing I put in there. If I didn't work at Rhino's, I'd probably be in an extremely big overdraft. Found, I don't know how graphic I can be, but they found extreme sexual contact for £20. Women are putting their mouths around men's genitals, their breasts and their faces. They're touching them intimately, masturbating them, masturbating themselves. They're putting their fingers in their vaginas and other women's vaginas. The rules are being broken to such an extreme extent it could be seen as prostitution. To me, these people hate us. They would say, they have personally said they will stop at nothing. Absolutely nothing to get this place closed down. The only main problem here is these people thinking that they can take the law into their own hands and try and humiliate girls by filming them. It wouldn't matter what the girls were doing. Filming someone naked and trying to use it against them to cause distress is humiliating and it's horrible. I can't believe that people that would call themselves feminists could treat women in this way. When we've done interviews where lap dancers or strippers have been interviewed and we've been interviewed, we're just called sexually repressed. We just have abuse thrown at us. So I don't really see, I'm not interested in some really antagonistic situation. With not buying it and then they've said they don't want to talk to us because we're being exploited, that completely goes against feminism as well. Surely you want to get if we were, we are not being exploited by the way, but if we were, surely you would want to help these girls and find out exactly what's going on so that you can provide the best support for them. It really confuses me. I think not buying it, I'm sorry, but the crazy. As far as going into Spearmint Rhino and gathering undercover evidence, I think there was no choice. No one is listening to the truth. It's all being ignored. There is no other way to prove to people what is actually happening in this industry. We were driven into a corner. Unfortunately, there was nothing else we could do. You claim that dancers were taking part in all sex with um, the investigators. They were masturbating themselves. They were exchanging numbers. Uh, dancers were performing all sex on each other. Do those kinds of things happen in Spearman, right? The accusations that have been made, to me, we're all performers and sometimes things can get mixed up and people think they see things that they haven't seen. So this placard that I'm doing says My Body, My Choice and we're just using it for a little march that we're doing and it's just to say to these people that this is the job that I want to do and it's my choice what I do with my body. It shouldn't be up to anyone else what I decide to do. Feminism, kind of like the rest of society, has been somewhat infected. I think it's by these really neoliberal, kind of really dumbed down, simplistic, very selfish attitudes that's all about me, me, me and what I choose. If I choose something, it's my right. That's not what feminism has ever been about. It's about all of us. So even if these women do choose to be lap dancers, it's not just about them. It's about wider social attitudes, which is breeding Harvey Weinstein's. to us. This is our livelihood. I'm a single mother. This job helps me feed my children. Woo! What I would say is to not buying it. Thank you. You have made 
Our group of girls are so strong, we've all come together and united so much because of you. So thank you for doing this, you've made us a really secure and tight unit and now we've all got each other's backs more than ever and we're ready to fight for this, we're ready to fight for the job that we love. Say it loud, say it clear, strip clubs are welcome here. The one hand lap dancers say we want to be treated like workers in any other job but if in any other job you were breaking the rules, you wouldn't be in that job.